Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can turn this NATM workflow into this great looking mini web app, which anyone can interact with quick and easily. NA10 is great. However, when you're building something for your team or for a client, sometimes the NA10 interface can be a little bit hard for people to interact with, which is why in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a beautiful web app which will fire your NA10 automation, but will be easy for anyone to use, not just those who are comfortable and know how to use NA10. This is great for working with a team or great for delivering to clients. It's super quick and easy and it's free. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we are within NA10. This is the automation that we're gonna turn into a beautiful looking web app. It's a pretty basic one. It's just gonna create uh, some text and maybe an image for a social media post. And we've got some text for a Facebook post, an X post and a LinkedIn post. Now you could replace this workflow with whatever you want to. This is just a placeholder. But the really important thing is we need to hook up webhooks on the front and on the end because that is how we're gonna get it to connect with our web app. So um, how I'm doing this is essentially, I've set up a webhook, made it a post request here. Um, and then what we can do with this webhook is we can pass in any information that we want. And then I've got an edit fields node here where I am taking information um, from the body of this webhook and then turning that into data, which I can use here. So you can see in this edit fields, I'm uh, defining topic, which is a string, platforms, which is an array of strings and generate image, which is a Boolean, so true or false. And I'm getting those from these uh, bits of information from the webhook. I know they're going to exist because every time we call this webhook, we are going to have topic, we are going to have platform, we are gonna have include image. So if I um, go execute workflow, what I'm gonna do is come across to Postman. This is uh, postman.com or .co. Um, and I'm gonna set up a test for this webhook. So I've got the endpoint in here. I've got it running here. So waiting for a response. Um, and I've got those fields filled in there. So I've got the topic, I've got the platform, which is an array, even though for, in this example, we've just got one, just got Facebook in there, and then include image is true. So if I send this, we can see down the bottom, it says sending request. And if we go over to NA10, we can see that it has received the webhook. It's processed that information. It's going through this switch. So it's saying, okay, do we need to create Facebook? Do we need to generate an image? And it's going across and doing that. Again, this is all just placeholder and you can replace it with whatever that you want. The important thing is that you are capturing the information that you send in via a webhook, which you can then use in later steps. And if you want this example, so you can play along with me and do it yourself, then I'll leave a link for this in the description where you can download that. Okay, so it's generating the image now, and then it's going to respond to the webhook um, with the information. And what we're doing here in the response to webhook is simply going respond with first incoming item. So essentially the important thing here to note is that we need to be able to send in information and get out the information via webhooks. And then we go responded to webhook. And if I come over to Postman, we can see I've got my Facebook output. My X output is blank. LinkedIn output is blank. So I don't want those. I've just got my Facebook output and I've got an image URL. And if I click on this, Ah, okay, if I come back over here, copy, oh, what am I doing? Copy this, then we will see that I've got my image. Here we go, okay. So um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna come over to V0. You can access this by going to v0.dev. You can use it absolutely for free, um, or you can create a free account. If we come over to pricing for V0, we can see that you can get $5 of credit absolutely for free you can deploy apps and you can use V0 absolutely for free. What V0 is, is essentially it's a platform that allows you to vibe code. It's my favorite at the moment. You can simply enter in um, what you want to create and it will create that for you. I like it uh, better than Cursor. I like it better than Lovable. It's my favorite at the moment, but that will change in the future. And before we go any further, if you do have any questions, any queries, you're not quite sure how to implement this, or you want to learn anything else about AI, I have a community. We're just growing at the moment. We're just starting out. Come across here and you can get exclusive access to me. I can help you solve your problems. Also, we've got a load of um, courses to do a load of things from AI, not just how to apply it to AI to make a profitable business, but also um, if you're selling AI services, how to reach your first 100K um, and how I did the same thing. I'll leave a link down in the description if you are interested in it. Anyway, back to the video. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm simply gonna paste in this prompt which I have created previously. It says, I want to create a single page web app that can help generate social media posts. I've built a webhook to do all the processing 
I want you to create the front end. The user should be able to enter a topic for the social media post. They should be able to select which platforms they want to create the post for, Facebook, X, or LinkedIn. They can select multiple. And they should be able to toggle whether they want an image generated for the posts too. Then I want you to show that it's loading after that you send the webhook request. And then when the data returns, I want you to show me the response. I will provide you with the webhook calls and the response structure soon. Okay, so what we're doing here, I'm gonna send this off and let it do its thing. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. What I'm doing is essentially setting up the front end. I've told it I'm gonna use webhooks to deal with the data coming in and out. Um, and I'm not gonna deal with that first. I just want it to look good to begin with. So I've got something to play around with. And then when I can play around with it, then I can plug in the webhooks um, and I can, you know, have it do its thing. But first I want to have something that I can play with, right? Rather than trying to give it all in one go, I'm gonna break it down and uh, do it step by step. This is what I found to be the easier way to interact with Vibe coding platforms such as V0. So you can see here it's going and it's writing all of the code, all of the CSS at the moment it's writing. Okay, so it took about two minutes probably and it's created this for me. It looks pretty good. However, I can change things if I want to. I can click this button up here and I can select an element or I can go on design over here and I can um, remove magic and put post if I want to. So I can change bits of text. I can also change you know, the color of the text. So I wanted this text a different color. You know, you can change pretty much anything. Um, let's, oh, let's reset this back to default. Let's go save. You know, I can change the color of any of this and click into it and change with the spacing. This is one of the reasons I love V0 because you can do this very nice and easily. However, let's have a look now at the next step. So the next thing I'm gonna say is I'm gonna pass in the, um, the details about the webhook to initialize it. We're not gonna deal with the response for now, but just initialize it. Okay, so this is what I've typed in in order to connect it. So here are the details of the webhook that you should call to generate a post. I've put in the endpoint, which comes from NA10's uh, the webhook node here. And just by clicking on this, we'll talk about the test and production a little bit later. Uh, but I've just clicked on this to copy it and I've put it across over here in the endpoint. Then the method is gonna be post. We need to make sure that this HTTP method here is also post, and then we're gonna say post. And then we need to give it the JSON um, example uh, body in order to know how it should format the data. And it's gonna work out itself when it should say Facebook, when it should say X, when it should uh, you know, give the topic, it's gonna to handle that itself. But essentially, I've just copied this JSON here from the JSON that we already worked out what we're gonna send to the NA10 automation on Postman, right? So I've just copied this and I've put it over in V0. So again, I'm gonna click go on V0. It's gonna take you know, another 20 seconds or so in order to put this into place. And then what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna click on generate post, and then we're gonna be able to connect to our NA10 automation. Okay, so that took about yeah 20 seconds. I'm gonna go over to NA10. I am gonna go um, execute workflow and it's gonna listen for an event. Uh, back over to V0 and my topic is gonna to be, yep, let's select this one, protection against stolen items when traveling. I just want a Facebook post and I, I'm not gonna worry about the image for now. I'm gonna click on generate post. It's gonna say generating posts. And if I go over to NA10, we can see this has triggered, which is great. That shows it is connecting. Now it's gonna generate a result, but we're not gonna be able to do anything with that result because we haven't told it um, what format the response is going to come in. So if I uh, disregard this, you know, it doesn't matter for now. I'm gonna come over to Postman and we got our response previously for that first one that we tried. And I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna put in here, great, thank you. And then I'm gonna say, um, this is an example um, response that the webhook gives, please use this info in order to create the output of the social media post. Okay, and I'll paste that in. Um, yep, that's fine. Send that off. Again, it's gonna take 20 seconds or so. Um, and then hopefully we should have it all working. There might be one or two things that we need to tweak. Maybe there might be an issue we need to debug. It does sometimes happen, but we should be pretty much there. Okay, so that's done. And now let's go over to NA10. Let's execute workflow. So it's listening. Let's go in here. Let's choose the same thing again, but this time let's go Facebook and X. And we're gonna say include image. You can see this toggle button is working. And we're gonna go generate posts. Okay, so that's generating. We can come over to NA10. We can see 
that um, it is generating and it is uh, writing the text for the post and then it's going to be creating the image as well and we've also got x going as well so this is going to take a little bit of time but only because my automation takes time if your automation on na10 is super quick then this is going to be super quick so i'll come back when this is all done and hopefully we'll see that it's working on the front end we can see that it's generating posts so hopefully it should be able to use um, our output that we gave it in order to create something nice Okay, so there we go. We have got our Facebook post and we've got our image um, and we've also got our X post and our image. Uh, we've got a copy to clipboard button, which is cool. Um, the only thing is the image is not the right aspect ratio. So I'm just gonna say on the left-hand side and when you come across uh, errors or mistakes, you can just say things like, um, great, but the image is not appearing completely a square image is uh, generated and I am only seeing part of it. Please make sure I can see the full image. I'm going to send that off and you can see you can make whatever changes you want just by natural language, just saying what you want to happen. It could be that we don't want this top bit to appear when results come back. We just want um, the generated posts. You know, we could do a lot. Okay, so that change has now happened. Let me run this again. Um, let's go Facebook post and an image. I've got to go over to NA10 and execute workflow. Uh, but let's fire this off and see if our change worked. And there we go, it's loaded and we have got our full image not cut off. Perfect. And there we go. The only other thing to do is click on publish, publish to production. It's going to take a minute and that can deploy as a real website which people can go to. You can play around with the front end however you like, change anything that you like just with simple natural language. Um, you can send people to this, either your internal team or you can um, send clients to this. It makes NA10 automations much, much nicer to deal with uh, for people that might not know how to use NA10. There are several things that I probably should mention. We are currently connecting to the test URL, which is here. Um, in order to run this in production, simply come over here, click on this and use this URL for the webhook rather than this one. Um, and you want to then make it active. I'm not going to do that because otherwise you guys might connect and steal all my AI credits. Um, also, you should probably add authentication to this webhook by going authentication, going on uh, probably header auth and then creating your own keys for your header auth there. And you can see that in that just minute or so, we have now created a URL. I can click on this. Um, I can put it into the URL and we can see this is now an actual website we can come to and we can change the domain if we want and put it on our own domain or a subdomain, whatever we want. This is now a proper website web app that we've created to interact with our NA10 app. So that's it from this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, I'll leave a link down to my example one down below. You can check out if you want to. If you have liked it, please do give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.